Hi everybody, welcome to GT Coding. This is a series where we are designing a one page website from scratch using a Figma design. So we have already designed the header, the outline section about us, our projects and the testimonial section. Now let's see which is the next section we need to design. So if you go to the Figma file, we can see that we have the contact us section. It is a really simple section. So let's go ahead and start by writing the HTML. So let's go to VS Code and uh, let's remove these H1s. So after the comment, we will start writing the markup of the contact us section. So the contact us section has a width of the wrapper. So we need to include that inside the wrapper division. So let's type wrapper over here. And in that will create a section with a class of contact section. And in that we'll have a heading and uh, the heading is contact us. So this is how it looks. Let's create a form element and uh, for the action we'll just type hash for now. And in that we'll create two groups. One for the name and the email and the other for this message. So we'll create a division with the class of group. And we'll have an input of type text and we'll have a placeholder and we'll just type name over here and we'll just duplicate this line of code and uh, the next placeholder will be email and then we'll have another group so we'll create a division with the class of group and uh, in this we'll have a text area because uh, we have multiple lines of text so we'll type text area and here we'll add a placeholder and I will just type your message and then lastly we have the button so here we'll type A and uh, we'll give it a class of button and it's a button with the cyan color so we'll just type cyan over here for the class and uh, here we'll type send message so this is how our contact section looks right now so let's go ahead and uh, add a comment over here end of contact section and uh, let's go to our CSS and start styling this now here we'll create a style for all the input fields so we'll type input of type text and text area now let's see what are the stylings we need to add so let's go to our Figma file and uh, double click over here and uh, let's see what is the padding over here first of all so double click on the name so we have a padding of 15 or 16 at the top and bottom and 30 for left and right. So let's add a padding of 16 pixels and 30 pixels. Now let's see the styling of this rectangle. So we'll select it and we'll go to code and we have the light background color. We have a border and we have box shadow and border radius. So these are the CSS we have. So let's copy border radius and uh, box shadow from here and paste it over here and uh, for the border we have one pixel solid of the dark color and for the background we have the light color so let's set background to var light color and border of one pixel solid var dark color and uh, let's set the font family to roboto and let's see how it looks right now now we need them to fill the whole width so we'll first of all go ahead and style the group so we'll type contact section group and we'll set the display to flex and for each of these we will set a flex of 1 now when you set the flex to 1 it will take up the maximum amount of width it can have so here we can see we have the correct width now we need to have some spacing between these input fields so let's go to our figma file and see what is the spacing so here we have 32 pixels between these two input values and uh, between these two we have 36 pixels so we'll set a margin bottom of 36 pixels now between these two we have a gap of 32 pixels so let's give this a margin right of 16 pixels and for this we'll have a margin right of 16 pixels so here we will type input of type text nth of type 1 and we'll set a margin right of 16 pixels and i'll just copy this 
and for the second input element we'll have a margin left of 16 pixels all right i think that's it with the contacts section so if you like this video please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates thanks a lot for watching have a nice day